All right, as you can see, I'm standing outside the one-to-one -one Unicorn Gundam statue at Daiba, or Odaiba, I guess that's what, what this place is called, here in South-ish Tokyo. So, might as well take this opportunity to quickly talk about the Tassadar changes. Yeah, it's not really a Japan video, it's actually a Heroes of the Soul video. Whatever, I'm just going to quickly go through the Tassadar changes that were introduced uh, yesterday, or today rather, um, depending on what time zone you're in. Uh, in the recent patch, it's just basically a couple of buffs, here we go. So basically the changes are, first the health has been increased from 1287 to 1350, health regeneration increased from 2.68 to 0.81, uh, basically, well, basically those two changes are going to make it a little bit more tanky, uh, otherwise not really all that diff different, real talk, just a tiny bit more tanky, I guess that's a little bit more useful. Basic attack damage increased from 40 to 50, distortion beam slowly increased from 20 to 25 percent. I guess that makes them slightly better and more useful. I guess it makes this beam slightly more useful. I don't know, I'll have to actually play it in order to make a final um, calculation of that one. Alright, his level one change is the Kaidera Residence passive, i.e. the shield quest, the one I don't like at all. Uh, this one, the regeneration globe amounts have been reduced from 15.30 to 10.20. This is going to make it a lot easier and possibly even completable in a, in a sort of realistic amount of time. Uh, it's real, like, before being 15.30 was just simply absurd. Now 10.20, it's kind of, it's even faster than Alex Strasser's quest, so that's actually pretty good. And plasma shield completion bonuses reduced from 2040 to 1530. That that shouldn't happen. Real talk. Like it's already shit. It's already a shit quest. It should be nerfed in that regard. So uh, that's unfortunate. That's really really unfortunate. All right. At level seven is resonation. It's a that's the um, side storm talent that is completely fucking useless. Uh, slow about increase from 50 to 60 percent. I still think this is going to be completely outclassed by uh, just the QW talent at level 7. That one's so good. Like, it's so much more useful, even for Psystorm, than this. So, let's continue with the next one, which is level 13, A Dude's Wisdom. A Dude's Wisdom is the one where if you use the Oracle, your cooldowns can your cooldowns increase in, in rate, so you get to cool down a little bit faster. Uh, cooldown reduction increased from 50% to 75% uh, for the time that you have your Oracle open, so I don't know. I don't think that's all that useful, real talk. I still think it's going to get outclassed by Deep Shift, and even um, even the even the, uh, the Shrink talent, that's not Shrink. Uh, both of those talents are still probably going to be outclassing uh, Adun's Wisdom any day. All right, the next one is going to be phase disruption, uh, physical armor reduction. This is the Psy Storm physical armor reduction one. It's useful if you have a uh, auto attack hero on your team, but I wouldn't use this in an auto attack build, I think, uh, unless you maybe want to give it a go with Resonation. But again, you're going to be finding yourself having a real hard time. Uh, anyway, the physical armor reduction has been increased from 25 to 35, so that's cool. I don't know if that's going to make a huge difference. Um, Mage Tassadars are not going to care about this at all because they're still going to take the double double Psy Storm. Uh, focus Beam increased from 1% to 1.5% maximum health. So I think, if I remember correctly, the idea is that the amount of time it takes, uh, the amount of time that Oracle can hang around for, uh, at the end you're going to take out about 20% of a, of a dude's maximum health. Now it's going to be about 30% of a dude's maximum health. That could be a massive difference. Uh, you're going to have to try that out and uh, make your own judgment on that one. And then finally, at level 20, we have Prismatic Link. Uh, damage increased from 40 to 50%. Basically, the, the, bouncing, the bouncing beam, the bounced beams are going to do a bit more damage. Uh, I don't know. Ultimately, this might be okay. I don't, I don't think it's going to matter because I don't, I don't choose that one all that much. Especially since it's still probably going to be outclassed by extremely long range and forever walls and infinite Archon. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't think, focus, I don't think uh, Prismatic Beam is going to be picked any more than it already is uh, so those are the changes for Tassadar let me know what you think about all of them in the comments below otherwise if you like this video i.e. the Tassadar changes hit that like button subscribe for more hot stuff although I won't be doing any hot stuff for the foreseeable future because I'm in Japan and until next time I'll see you guys later thanks for watching bye